Hey everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And today we're bringing you 100 tips, hacks, and ideas that are gonna come in very handy while social distancing and staying home. We also asked for a little bit of help from some of our YouTube friends, so check out their channels in the description below and consider subscribing because we'd love to see you around here more often. Learn how to spell quarantine? I keep spelling it with an E for some reason. Quar quar quarantine. I have been doing a little bit of water coloring and also playing Animal Crossing a little bit too much. Read your horoscope. This month sees you finally taking that trip of a lifetime. Yeah, maybe to the fridge. So many museums have virtual online tours, so go visit a museum from the safety of your home. And then watch Night at the Museum, because that's what I want to do. Oh. If there is a hobby or interest you've been wanting to explore, a new activity you've wanted to try, a book you've been wanting to read, a skill you've been interested in, really so many different things, just don't let the time go to waste. Look at it as an opportunity and try something new. You might even surprise yourself. Take a lesson from astronauts that listen to Earth sounds while they're in isolation. In the middle of the day, every day, my team and I break for 20 minutes for a dance party over Zoom to spike our heart rates and get our blood flowing and just refocus and re-energize for the day. Leave good reviews for all your favorite small businesses. I recommend this artist to all of my friends. Create a photo album, but like a real one. If you're isolating with somebody else, try taking an interest in their hobbies. How's the car going? Good, just did the engine swap. See, that's the old engine there. Mm -hmm. That's the new engine. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm just tightening the flywheel. Wow. Or try making a Pinterest board of some of your post-quarantine summer looks. Cut all the random holes in your wall from nails you've taken out. If you've been spending too much time indoors lately and you need to change your environment, put up a painting or a piece of art that inspires you. Change your sounds. Maybe fall asleep to relaxing music. Sense when you walk into a space of work or a space that you're trying to be focused, put on a scent like lavender or eucalyptus that really brings joy to your soul. DIY a case for your AirPods. Wash your bed sheets. You'll thank us later. Plan out the birthday gifts for your friends and family for the rest of the year. Burn that one candle that you've had sitting around because it's almost too pretty to burn and you're waiting for the most perfect special time to actually burn it for the first time ever. Now is that time. Take your dogs for a walk. Clean those dirty as hell white pair of shoes. Learn a little bit more about yourself by taking a personality quiz. I recommend the Myers-Briggs one linked below. I personally am INFP. You'll find out what that all means when you do the quiz. <laughs> Check to see if any of your local farmer's markets are offering online shopping and delivery. Put together an outfit with all those crazy pieces you love but never actually wear. This is a look, baby. I think the best tip to cure boredom is to get drunk. <laughs> but drink responsibly and only do it if you're legal. This is terrible advice. I've just been binge watching every single movie that I love with all my heart and it's been a lot of fun. Create the most ultimate perfect pillow and blanket throne. Perfect for movie watching. Try to save all of your dying plants. Attempt to do your hair yourself by giving yourself highlights. <laughs> Be happy with however it turns out because you're inside anyways. Can we make pen pals a thing again? Celebrate like very small wins. So the fact that it's Friday, being like, yay, it's Friday, let's have a pizza party, let's watch a movie. So it's like these small things that I get to look forward to. To keep myself busy and feeling positive and fulfilled during self-quarantine is making care packages for friends of mine that are working on the front lines during this pandemic, like a bath bomb and some tea and hand lotion, and just drop it outside the door. Hang up a gallery wall with a collection of frames that you have. Try planting some of the herbs that still have the roots on them from the grocery store. Give the wall behind you a mini makeover for all the Zoom and video calls you're having. Create your post-quarantine to-do list. Mine includes getting my car mirror fixed. Hashtag not my fault. Do novel experiences, do something new. I find the days are like flying by going very fast because we're doing the same thing over and over. According to your neurology, if you have a new experience, it slows down your perception of time. So do something new and your day will slow down. 
I live with my boyfriend, so we're stuck inside together. So we have interactive meals together to pass the time. We'll build themes around our dinners so we can have a Japan night. We'll put on a Japanese movie. We'll make a konomiyaki. So things that take time to make and it acts a little bit like a date night for us and it's just a little bit different from your average dinner. Make shorts out of your old jeans. Make a cheese spread board out of whatever you can find around your kitchen. Take up yoga. I'm doing 30 days with Adrian. Attempt to beat that one level. You know which one. No, 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 no. Well guys, if you're really, really bored, feel free to try this fun hack. Try on all of your shoes while your dog watches. Do you love it, George? Yes. Work on planning that dream road trip that we can hopefully have soon. Seems like everybody's baking these days. And while my bananas ripen, I'm gonna make some potato bread. Get that vacuum out and deep clean your whole house. Learn a new magic trick to impress your friends. <laughs> One thing I do to help myself eat healthy meals and feel motivated to cook is I pre-chop my vegetables as soon as I bring them home so they're ready to just go into the pan. I sometimes even repurpose Ziploc bags and use them to put in other chopped veggies. Don't let staying at home be the reason that you start eating unhealthy. Try making all of those meals that are pinned on your Pinterest. Teach your dog a weird new trick. You rocking those sunglasses. Is that a stupid trick, Danny? If you haven't seen Tiger King already, you are in for a wild ride. And once you're done, start planning your Joe Exotic Halloween costume. Or figure out what else you could be for Halloween. Something I've been doing to ease my boredom and also just kind of stay inspired and creative is to go through my DIY supplies. So I'm using some of the time I have now to go through my supplies and see what I have, what I can create with, and honestly get inspired for new projects. Learn how to braid your hair. Check in on your loved ones. Hello. Hi, Grandma, this is Becky. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird time, isn't it? But I've been decorating my room, just been sorting that out, making it my space. That's quite you guys, isn't it? Do you approve? It's also made me more creative as well. It's removed options, so it's focused me up. But it is difficult. See, you can say that, Madonna, without being in a bathtub and putting on some piano music, making it pretentious. Try to learn that TikTok dance. <laughs> this is hard. Don't read the news. Try talking to Wobot. It is a robot therapist app on your phone that can be really helpful during this time. Try making Dalgona coffee. Realize partway through that you need instant coffee and not regular coffee, and just give up. Why is this not working? Support a local brewery by having beer delivered, that is, if you are of legal age. During this time period, I'm making sure to keep my body moving and to get some sweat in. So if you also wanna keep your body moving, I highly recommend you try out my 20 minute hip hop dance class video. It's a lot of fun and it will make you sweat, I promise. I have been exercising a bunch, which is weird for me. And part of this exercise routine is to like strengthen my core, whatever that is. Using a pillow. Ta -da! Clean out your junk drawer. Or both. This is such a cliche, but um, cut some bangs. I mean, I know I already have them, but they can use a little trim. Make a Pinterest board for your dream home. What are you looking at, whackhomes.com? This is my dream board of the home we're gonna have one day. It's gonna be 70s and crazy. Have a full on spa day and give yourself a face mask. Starting my day off with a ritual. Daily routines ease my brain into the day and give me time to prepare for what's ahead. Rituals create structure that I can depend on, and even when everything feels crazy and I don't know where to start, I can always say, oh yeah, feed my cats, make coffee, I got this. So you've heard lots of tips about connecting with friends, but here's a hack. Schedule those in a calendar so that you have something to look forward to. Figure out how you might explain this to your grandchildren one day. Listen to an album the whole way through, start to finish, no skipping songs. I recommend this one, this one, or this one. Plan a little scavenger hunt for your roommates or partner by leaving little treats around the house for them to find. It could also be for yourself. I don't judge. 
Something that I've been doing every day to keep me sane is having a daily Netflix watch party session with my friends so that I have like some sort of structure in my life and something to look forward to at the end of the day. Here are five online games that you can play with or without friends. First up, we have off-brand categories. Personally, I love the aesthetic of this website. Second up is code names. This one's an all-time fave. Third up, we have Jackbox. It's a platform that has really well-developed games, but it does cost a little bit of moolah. Fourth up, we have Playing Cards. It has a bunch of different online card games, including an off-brand Cards Against Humanity. And last up, we have the Wiki game. Just, just give it a try, trust me. Learn a new instrument by playing your favorite song. Groom your dog. One thing that I do to help keep myself motivated is to schedule my day. Basically just have like a whiteboard or a piece of paper and write down all the things that you want to accomplish throughout the day. You can even put the times or little check boxes. I like to do check boxes so I can check it off and it feels satisfying. I hope that this helps. Bye. Have you gotten your eight glasses though? When's the last time you cleaned your makeup brushes? No comment. Watch a story girls video on YouTube and subscribe. Check. Host a little indoor picnic by placing a blanket and some pillows on the ground and eating dinner. Doing like virtual girls night calls with my friends. We'll just hop on together and have like a virtual happy hour. It always makes me feel a little bit better. Work in a particular place in your home. We're all gonna be indoors a lot and some of us are working while it's happening. And to help your brain disassociate the stress of work with your entire house, it's best if you have a little office space to focus your work time. Clean off your computer desktop. We've both been putting this off for way too long. Do absolutely nothing and that's okay. Try working on learning a new language. My favorite way to do this is through the Duolingo app. The man is el hombre. Yes. I am a man. Yo soy un hombre. Yes. <laughs> you can make an epic breakfast any time of the day. Try making an outfit with items from your partner's closet. Something that's personally helped me is taking things hour by hour or day by day and trying not to focus on things I can't control, such as the future. Draw something. It can be very relaxing and therapeutic. Hope you guys enjoyed all of those ideas, but before we go, we want to share a very important thing you can do from home right now. As we all know, one of the best ways to combat the spread of COVID-19 is to stay home. But for essential frontline workers, this is an impossibility. That's why we're donating and supporting the UN Foundation's COVID-19 Solidarity Response Fund for the World Health Organization. This fund helps ensure that patients get the care that they need, the frontline workers get essential supplies, and it helps accelerate the development of vaccines, tests, and treatments. Join us in global solidarity to stop the COVID-19 pandemic by donating using the link here on screen or in the description below. From now until April 30th, Google.org and YouTube are matching $2 for every $1 donation up to $5 million, with 100% of your donation going to those who need it most. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Bye!